Good day, and welcome back to uh, G More Life. And today uh, we're going to be performing some maintenance. Maintenance never ends around here. I'm going to be replacing the uh, slipper clutch on this six foot bush hog. It's the uh, model 286 bush hog. And uh, I was uh, bush hogging the other day on the uh, lease and I smoked the clutch pretty bad. I've already smoked it a few other times doing some other things, but uh, I was cutting some, uh, might as well call it some timber and uh, some brush and uh, it uh, smoked it. And I think that's the last amount of uh, use I'm gonna get out of this slipper clutch. So I'm gonna dig into this and see what parts I need to order. And uh, let's uh, take a look at it. All right, the first thing we're gonna wanna do is remove the uh, protective housing here. Uh, I've already actually uh, unbolted it, but uh, this housing just sits here and clipped down uh, you rotate it up to uh, access in here, but it's always in the way. So it's, it's held on by uh, two bolts and nuts. Uh, they're size 9 16 and I already removed them. And we're going to be, let's see what we got to film here. I've already started, but we got to remove these nuts and springs for this pressure plate to get in here to access the. Uh, the disc and the, uh, I'm gonna call it the linings, uh, to replace those. So I've already started with this. This is a size uh, five eighths and we removed the springs. I'm gonna order an all new springs and hardware because might as well digging into it. But uh, let's go and get this off of here. Handy dandy impact. I disconnected the drive line, put it over here to angle so I can actually get to the stuff. Uh, this one's bent from a long time ago trying to remove the, uh, the stump jumper plate. It got messed up. I don't know if I can, yeah, that'd work. Grab a, put my gloves and grab a hammer. All right, let's see about whammering this thing. Looks like I'm gonna have to cut cut that off of there. Let me get a cutting wheel. All right, got my face protection and uh, got a cutting wheel. And uh, we'll see what we can do with this. Uh, and if I catch this on fire, I have water hoses and I have a fire extinguisher nearby. That's removed. Well, obviously, take this off so I don't echo. That's a problem. Let's see if I can get a better view here. 
got this far apart. And this is the disc that uh, I was thinking it was a liner a while ago. It still got, it still has parts of the fiber from the other, from the bad liner it broke apart. It must have been stuck to it since it was so thin. The what should be a liner on this other side looks like it's in between there. The gap here that is totally gone. Uh, I'm going to have to remove this from the from the uh, the shaft anyways because I won't be able to put the liner in here in this position. So I'm going to have to undo this nut down here and slide this whole assembly off the shaft um, so we can uh, replace. The linings in between here and I'll have to I'll take a look at this uh, pressure plate and make sure it's good enough to keep okay I'm gonna try to remove this nut now and come find out it is an 18 millimeter not okay, looks like we might have a mixture of mixture and standard on here so let me reposition this camera let's see if I can get that out of there spinning well this is not good I uh, good thing I'm yeah, sorry there was a problem with the app so sorry um, that nut was not tight I wonder if all that heat and stuff has loosened it up over a period of time all those different times I smoked this clutch but uh, literally I, it, it was hand tight. Oh yeah, you can see, Let's see if I can get this in the camera. All right. See the, the nylon locking bush inside that lock nut. It's uh, it's toast. It's melted out. So all that heating up helped uh, make that thing get loose. So yeah, I need to add that to the list to get. Oh, nice. Bolt coming right out. Pin. Uh, oh, yep. This needs replaced too. You can see there on the side, right here in the front, it's worn. Got a big divot right there. And Looks like it might be slightly bent, but uh, yeah, that is supposed to be a, a squared off shank away there, not worn out. So another part I'll go on and replace. Yeah, this bush hog has been used and abused. Now I wonder if this is gonna slide off without beating it. I can't ask for any better. Let's go and remove these uh, bolts. And keep in mind, this is probably like brake lip dust. It could be asbestos. I'm out here, I got plenty of breeze that's blowing this away from me. If anything, I probably should have my respirator on, but I think I'm all right. All right. This. I don't know if I need to replace that or not. Oh, yeah. It's pretty grooved down. I guess I'll look at it, see how much it's gonna cost for this part. Yeah. Okay. 
I might get some more life out of these, but I'll have to weigh the pros and cons of how much it costs for the parts. So one backing plate. Uh, I'm going to call it the rotor. One rotor, two liners, all the hardware, and that nut, and that bolt and nut. All right. Well, let's go see if we can uh, get online and order the stuff. All right. I got my parts ordered and did that on a Monday. Got them yesterday on a, a Thursday. I ordered them from Messix. You can actually see the whole invoice. You can see uh, how much I paid and everything like that. Uh, I'd say Messick, Messick, uh they usually have the parts, whatever you need for farm equipment. I've never had a problem of finding anything. Uh, they're not the best price around. Uh, you can probably shop around and find better prices. But uh, like I said, they get them to me and they, they, get, they uh, ship stuff out immediately. I ordered these parts on Monday, probably 10 o'clock in the morning. And I had an email saying they'd already been processed. And uh, I think I was waiting for the, pick, the truck to pick them up that same day. Uh, from FedEx, so they, they 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 process stuff immediately on the same day, and they usually do that for what I've been ordering, and uh, I got them yesterday on a Thursday evening, so I'm starting this is on a Friday morning. Um, before I did order my parts, I went on and ch checked a couple other things on the uh, bush hogs if there was any other issues, and I found 